Hey everybody in Brazil. Hello I'm, Brazil. I'm Doug Rex. It's David Lieberman. Friend, Dave Lieberman. We had a little debate today about whether colonoscopy should be the choice, the first choice for colorectal cancer screening. I took the yes position, David took the no position, and uh, it was kind of a setup. We don't still really know exactly what anybody believes, but one point that I made in the yes position, Dave, was that you know, offering uh, multiple options to patients hasn't really been proven to be better in terms of how many patients adhere to screening than offering the most effective test first so that the maximum number of people get that test and then for those who decline, offer another test. And what do you think about that? I think that's a fair point. I mean, I think that when we have a huge menu of tests, it can become confusing uh, for individuals. But I guess I would suggest that at this point in our history, we're not exactly sure which program offers the most effective program. And so by that I mean which program uh, reduces colon cancer mortality and incidence more effectively. And I think the true answer in 2013 is that we're not sure. What do you think about that? I actually agree. We would need the data he from agrees. randomized controlled trials. We won't know for sure until right. we've got the evidence from right. randomized controlled trials. But right now, we do have some evidence for colonoscopy from recent case control studies that our fears that it was not going to prevent cancer in the right colon are probably not true, at least when it's done by gastroenterologists and it's done with good quality we get protection in the right colon. You made the point it's not as good as it is in the left colon, but still, we don't have any evidence for anything else right now that it really protects in the right colon. It'd be nice to see some data from randomized controlled trials. Certainly, it's still the best test for adenoma detection, but you were pointing out some of the downsides of using colonoscopy for screening. Yeah, I was. So some of the downsides are that there's risk associated with it. So, you know, in, in average risk individuals, the there are three to five serious complications per thousand procedures. And in older individuals, it goes up to about seven uh, per thousand individuals. But I guess I'm going to concede a point to Dr. Rex, and that is that colonoscopy does offer us an opportunity to detect uh, adenomas, which are cancer precursor lesions, and actually remove them. And that has the the capability of leading to cancer prevention, and that's an exciting possibility. So I think that as we look at this programmatically, we, we need to consider that, and I think that's one of the key pluses of colonoscopy. One of the things I think we would both agree on is that if we're gonna use colonoscopy for screening, or if we're just gonna use colonoscopy to evaluate other positive screening tests, one of the most important things, if not the most important thing, is that it be done with high quality and that adenoma detection rates get measured. And we saw really some of the most convincing evidence that we've seen in a while today that increasing the adenoma detection rate leads to better protection against colon cancer in both the distal and the proximal colon. Yeah, I, com you know, I completely agree that we have to focus on quality because actually whatever screening program is used in whatever country, ultimately it's going to lead to colonoscopy if the initial test is positive. And that colonoscopy has to be done with high quality. I mean, I think in addition to the adenoma detection rate, one of the other things we've learned recently is that when we do find polyps, we have to assure that we're removing them completely. And we have some data, some data uh, that suggests that perhaps we're leaving neoplastic tissue behind. And that's another quality issue that we have to wrestle with. So there we go, Brazilians. There's some unsettled issues, but when you do screening colonoscopy, look carefully, prep the colon well, find everything, remove it effectively. But if you're going to do FIT or fecal testing, you have to make sure that you have a program that brings patients, because it's not 100% sensitive for cancer. So it has to be a program that brings patients back for repeat testing if it's negative. And if it's positive, it identifies a high-risk individual who needs colonoscopy, and therefore there needs to be the capacity to do colonoscopy for those individuals. Thanks. Goodbye, okay. everybody. All right. Good job, David. Uh, great. <laughs>